OK, so starting from the top left, we've got Gambo Hue, Lemon Yellow, Cerulean Blue, Indigo Blue, Intense Blue, French Ultramarine, uh, Cadmium Orange, Opera Rose, OK, so Opera Rose, I've called it Opera on there, Scarlet Lake, which is this one, Elizabeth Crimson, which is one of my favourite colours, Olive Green, which is this one, Sap Green, which is obviously that one. I'm going higher up the palette. Here we go. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yellow Ochre, Raw Sienna, Burnt Sienna, Raw Umber, Burnt Umber, and Lamp Black. Okay. So they're the colours that I tend to use. Trying to give us some ideas. As the way I set them out, I don't know, but I tend to like to have them um, kind of lighter, darker, etc. So I know that the yellows and blues will make greens. Okay, I've got all the kind of reddy, orangey colours together, as you can see there. Then all the kind of browny colours down on the bottom row. That's where I tend to lay my palette out. It's entirely your choice. You tend to know where to go for the colour that you want. All right, so that's what I would normally do. I have got a tube of lamp black there, which I tend to use on a regular basis. It just saves having to try and kind of mix this lamp black, lamp black, in the uh, in the half pan there, because obviously you've got to work it with your brush to try and get the the pigment loose. Um, so it's quite handy when you want to put some black into your palette. Other than that, I tend to use the occasional tubed paint. And what I've got is this old kind of glass jar. Let's see if we can zoom out a little bit for you. That's all it is, little glass jar. And inside there I've got stacks and stacks of tubes of paint. You know, some are bought off the old Tinternet, <laughs> which is raw sienna and so on. Um, it's worth checking on eBay and look at the, um, uh, not the ones which are buy now jobbers, look for the ones where people are selling, all right? so bidding ones. And I've bought these something like 50 pence a tube or something, and this is, you know, the Cotman, the old Cotman one. Some tend to be a bit dried up sometimes, but you can re-wet them, you know, you can cut them out if you wanted to, and save it as a block of paint which you can re-wet another time. So you can still use them, people forget that, even if they're dried up in the tube, just cut the tube open and take the paint out. Uh, it sounds a bit messy, but it does work, and it saves you a lot of money as well. So these are the kind of things. I've got SAA ones, which I've bought as well, because I do buy a lot of stock from SAA. Um, Orlin, which is one of my popular ones for my background colours. That's um, quite a popular one I've got there. So I've got a variety of colours. I won't go through all these. That's Opera Rose, because I'll be here all day. Uh, <laughs> one of my favourite blues, for the backgrounds especially, is Phalo Blue. So that's a nice one. This is the artist quality one, and it's a Dale Rowney one. So even though my half pans are um, Winsor & Newton, I do have Dale Rowney, SAA, so they all vary really. But that will give you some ideas on what I use paint-wise. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in that one. Uh, as for the paper, I'll do another one on the paper. I'm just waiting for some to arrive actually. And we'll do another one on the paper some other time. But that will give you some ideas on the paints that I use. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Any comments, please put them below. Okay, and... Um, I will do my best to reply to you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.